Ah, uh, do you remember that time when you had that huge exam? Yeah, I'm talking about that ridiculously big exam that covered almost all the content of the book. Do you remember how hard you worked to get ready for the test? You didn't hang out with your friends. You didn't even take a shower. You started to get a bit crazy, actually. And of course, you didn't sleep at all. And then, after studying a lot, the exam day arrived. It was time to show that all your effort had a purpose. It was you and the exam, the moment of the truth. After two weeks, the grades were given to all the students. Of course you were expecting a good grade, I mean, come on, you worked really hard, you prepared yourself. And yeah, your friend, he did amazingly in the exam, he got a really good grade. And then when you received your exam, actually, the story was not quite the same, right? <laughs> to you at least once but take it easy my friend because I'm here to teach you how to get excellent grades in university school in an academy an institute wherever you want and now you may be asking yourself okay hang on who are you to teach me how to study look I am definitely not a genius and I actually don't consider myself as someone really smart However, my average in school was this one, and now my average in university is this one. Not bad. <laughs> Please trust me. I assure you that after this video, you will get better grades. I promise. So let's get started with today's Declassified. How to get excellent grades. <clears throat> and <clears throat> once again, the secrets I'm gonna share right now are based on personal experience. They worked for me during my whole life and that makes me think that maybe you want to have this information as well. Tip number one, memory games. It's a fact that if you're studying and you understand what's going on in there, that's the best thing that can possibly happen to you. Because if that's the case, then you are understanding the concept. That means like, the knowledge will be on your head forever. That's the best thing, of course. But sometimes there are these exams where people who have a nice memory used to have an advantage. And I'm talking about the exams where there are a lot of formulas to remember, where you have to remember difficult names, facts, dates, etc. So that's why I give you this tip. Play memory games. When you have to learn something by heart, like a huge formula or a weird name, it's gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy, my friend. Tip number two, the extra notebook. If you really wanna have good grades, then you have to invest on good time, like in really good time studying and stuff like that, but also in an extra notebook. This extra notebook will essentially be the exercises notebook, you know what I mean? Like in this notebook you're not gonna write theory or theorems, no, 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 no. It's only for practicing, only to do exercises and stuff like that. Before an exam you wanna be sure that you feel ready for it, right? And how do you do that? Well, doing exercises. But wait, where can you do those exercises? Exactly! On your additional notebook on the extra notebook. Tip number three, ask for past exams. See, a course can be taught by different professors, but we're still talking about the same course. Yes, yes, I know, 
one professor can make a different exam than other professor, of course, that's a fact. Come on, we're talking about the same content, we're talking about the same topic. The exams cannot be that different. My suggestion? Find someone who took the course already and ask for past exams. Believe me, you will be more than surprised when you see the similarities between them. Number four! Find your studying method. It's ridiculous to learn all the content for the exam. And I'm telling you this because we know that we have other exams, we have other responsibilities at home, at work, we have stuff to do as well. And that's exactly why you have to find a method. I don't know, it can be a summary, uh, a map, I don't know, you have to find it. Maybe underlining the, the important information, it's gonna be up to you. I'm gonna share you my secret. Powerful pages. You need to include all the content in maximum one piece of paper. If you use more than one piece of paper, eh, you lose. For my powerful pages, I use color, I follow a kind of like a design structure. You know what? Let me show you some of my best powerful pages. But be careful, my friend, because there can be problems on the making of a powerful page. For instance, if you're like, oh my god, this is important, and that's important, and that's important, and that's important. If you're not really selective with what to include on your powerful page, then they may not work, and they may look like these monsters. See my point? That's why you have to be methodic. You need to like use color, follow a structure. But believe me, if you use the powerful page correctly, it's definitely an important tool to get a good grade. Number five, the rituals. Now, a ritual, what are you talking about? Listen, I know and I am aware of the fact that there's, there are superstitious people in the world and non-superstitious people. I know that. Let me share with you a personal experience. When I was a kid, I used to play a lot of tennis, and I had this instructor that really liked telling us about life, about like not only tennis, like applying advice in every single aspect of our daily, daily life. One of those advices was precisely, if you do something and it works, then remember everything you did before and do it again. Again, 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 and again. If it works, then do it again. For instance, my rituals for the exams are always listening to the Champions League anthem before the exam, right before, and I feel like actually like a football player. Yeah, I know it's weird, but it works. There are a lot of rituals, like for instance, sitting in the first line of the classroom or listening to superhero music uh, while studying. Yeah, those are my rituals too. I know they're weird, but they work, I'm telling you, they work, for real. You gotta find your own rituals and work on them. And well, that's it with today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, share it, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and if you have any question about more tips about studying or how to get good grades, don't even hesitate. Leave your comment here below. I'll read it. I'll try to answer it. I'll try to help you. And now I'll give you the bloopers I promised early in the video. So that's it. Take care, buddy. I don't know what you're doing. Quand il veut donner la feuille, il doit faire comme si je suis content, n'est-ce pas? Oui, il va, il va récorder la, la note, puis il va nous récorder à nous, et là il faut comment? Wow, you know, like that. C'est toi qui fais ça ou c'est moi? Les deux, parce que moi je te félicite. Ouais. Et puis quand j'arrête ma note, on va voir que c'est zéro et tout te rigole de moi. Ok. Ouais. Fallait que tu me donnes ça. <rire> ok. Ok. Bon, 3, 2, et on part 1. de la note. Une superbe. <rire> Mais je peux pas parler. <rire> 3, 2, 1.
Yo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>